The world is changing. It's not just a future prediction, but a reality we are already experiencing. What used to be rare extremes are now part of everyday headlines. Record breaking heat waves, devastating floods, rising seas. The signs are all around us. But what exactly is climate change? How do scientists understand its future path and what does it mean for different parts of the world such as Australia and Malaysia with their unique environments? In this video, we will break down the science behind climate change, explore its future scenarios and look at the very real world impacts heading our way. Hi, my name is Amin Tali and you are on my YouTube channel Water Edu Hub. Here we break down complex water challenges into practical insights. Whether you are a student, a professional or just a curious mind, this is your place to learn, grow and get inspired. Stay with me. At its core, climate change refers to significant long-term shifts in global weather patterns. While Earth climate has always fluctuated naturally, the current changes are happening at an unprecedented speed driven primarily by human activities. It begins with the greenhouse effect, a natural process where gases in our atmosphere trap heat, keeping our planet warm enough for life. Without it, Earth would be a frozen wasteland. However, since the Industrial Revolution, our actions such as burning fossil fuels for energy, widespread deforestation and industrial processes have drastically increased the concentration of these heat-trapping gases, especially carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. This amplifies the natural effect leading to an accelerated warming of our planet. To understand our climate future, scientists develop complex models. They don't work alone. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change or IPCC is the world's leading authority on climate science. Established in 1988, its mission isn't original research but to rigorously assess and synthesize thousands of peer-reviewed studies from around the globe. Through its comprehensive assessment reports, the IPCC provides the most authoritative evaluations of climate change available. You might recall hearing about Representative Concentration Pathways or RCPs. These describe different greenhouse gas concentration trajectories and their warming potential. Today, climate projections, particularly from the IPCC's latest reports, primarily use Shared Socioeconomic Pathways or SSPs. SSPs are more comprehensive, describing plausible future worlds based on how societies might develop, including factors like population growth, economic activity, education, and how we might tackle climate change. These are essentially what-if stories for our global society, each leading to different emission levels. Let's explore four key SSPs. Imagine SSP 1, the Green Road. This is a world taking a sustainable path with a strong international cooperation and green development, leading to much lower emissions and significant action on climate change. SSP 2, Middle of the Road, extends historical and current trends. Here, we keep doing roughly what we are doing now, facing moderate challenges for both climate change mitigation and adaptation. SSP 3, a rocky road, depicts a fragmented world driven by regional rivalry. Nations prioritize their own interests over global cooperation, making climate action very difficult leading to high emissions. Finally, SSP-5 fossil fuel development portrays rapid energy intensive growth with limited environmental concern. This leads to very high emissions as reliance on fossil fuels intensifies globally. These SSPs, combined with climate models, help us understand a range of potential warming outcomes and associated impacts. Regardless of exact future pathway, the scientific consensus is clear. Climate change will touch every corner of the globe. Sea levels are rising, threatening coastal communities. More frequent and intense heat waves are straining agriculture. Altered rainfall patterns are leading to both severe droughts and devastating floods and increased ocean acidification is harming vital marine ecosystems. This is not abstract science, it's a lived reality. While warming trend is global, its impacts are profoundly local and uniquely challenging for different regions. 
Let's delve into two distinct examples, Australia, a largely arid continent, and Malaysia, a coastal tropical nation, to see how their unique environments are predicted to change. Australia is the driest inhabited continent, and under high emission scenarios like SSP5, it faces increasingly severe extremes by 2100. Projections suggest a rise in average temperature between 2.8 and 5.1 degrees centigrade by 2090 compared to the 1986-2005 baseline. Heat waves will become more intense, frequent and longer with significant increases in days above 35 degrees centigrade across all major cities, potentially making some outdoor activities unbearable for much of the year. Rainfall patterns will shift dramatically. Southern Australia, especially the southwest, is projected to become significantly drier, particularly during the cooler months, leading to increased aridity and more severe droughts. This could pose serious threats to water and food security. In contrast, Northern Australia may experience a slightly increased heavy rainfall, but overall, key agricultural and population centers will face growing water stress. Even with general drying, short-duration extreme rainfall events are expected to intensify, raising the risk of flash flooding in urban areas, including cities like Melbourne. The intensity, frequency and duration of fire weather, marked by hot, dry and windy conditions, will rise significantly. By 2019 and under SSP5 scenario, the annual number of severe fire weather days could rise by up to 130% in some regions. Meanwhile, global sea levels may rise by 45 to 82 cm by 2090, putting vast coastal areas at risk of inundation, displacing communities, and damaging critical infrastructure. Lastly, the iconic Great Barrier Reef faces near-certain catastrophic bleaching, risking its functional collapse, a loss not only for Australia, but for the world. Now to Malaysia, a tropical nation highly vulnerable to shifting rainfall and rising seas due to its long coastline and densely populated urban areas. By the end of the century, under high emission scenarios, Malaysia's annual mean temperature is projected to rise by 0.5 to 5.4 degrees centigrade. Heat waves and humid heat stress will grow more intense and frequent health risks and straining infrastructure. Rainfall patterns will become more erratic. Across Southeast Asia, annual rainfall is projected to increase by 2.6 to 13.4 percent by 2100 under SSP5. However, this increase won't be evenly distributed. Heavier and more frequent extreme rainfall events are expected, raising the risk of flash floods, urban flooding, and landslides, especially in low-lying and mountainous areas. Despite higher annual rainfall, the irregular distribution and rising temperatures may worsen water stress in some regions. Meanwhile, relative sea level rise in Southeast Asia could reach up to 2 meters in many cities. The combined threat of rising seas and persistent heavy rainfall could submerge vast coastal areas directly affecting major cities and key economic zones across Malaysia. The scientific projections are concerning, but they are not destiny. The future climate depends on the choices we make today collectively. Understanding these scenarios empowers us to demand and implement solutions from rapidly transitioning to renewable energy and practicing sustainable agriculture to developing resilient infrastructure and protecting our vital natural ecosystems. Every action, big or small, contributes to shaping a more sustainable future for the entire world. Thank you for watching. If you found this insightful, Please subscribe to our channel Water Edu Hub for more videos on water and climate. Let's keep learning, stay engaged and work together to make the future one we can be proud of.